Six things narcissists think you owe them. Narcissists target empaths. They target people who are aware of what other people feel. People who are caring and giving. While they are the exact opposite of empaths. Any relationship between a narcissist and an empath is going to be very harmful. Because the narcissist thinks that the empath owes them a lot. If you are dealing with someone who thinks you owe them any of these things, you may be dealing with a narcissist. 1. Your attention. Narcissists think that you owe them your attention. They hate it when you talk to other people. They hate it when you spend time by yourself. Because they want all of your attention to be on them. It makes them feel like they exist. It provides them with security and stability. But even while you're giving them all of your attention. They're not bringing anything to you. They're just using you to validate the illusion. They're just using you to prop up their false self. So that they can feel better about themselves. Two, your empathy. No matter what you do for a narcissist, they will always play the victim. And they will always demand your empathy. In a normal situation, there is nothing wrong with having empathy for people. But narcissists will abuse it. While they show no mercy for you or anyone else. They demand and expect everyone to cater to their needs, despite how they may act towards people. They have a strong sense of entitlement. They believe that they are inherently deserving of privileges and special treatment, and they have assigned to you the role of providing this to them, while they act like they are in a difficult situation. While they complain to you and smear your name, They still expect you to feel sorry for them, as though life is so unfair to them. Because they're self-absorbed, they lack empathy. They have no consideration for anyone but themselves. And while they may use your empathy to their advantage, they don't really value it. That's why they play with it. Because they take it for granted. They see your kindness as a weakness. Something for them to exploit. In their minds having empathy makes you stupid. And if they can manipulate and exploit your empathy. In their minds that's your fault. In their minds you're stupid for giving it to them in the first place. They're like children. They take no responsibility for anything they do to you. Three, your accountability. Narcissists are very impulsive. They tend to make a lot of careless decisions. But when this happens, they will not take accountability for their actions. Instead, they will hold you responsible. And naturally, as an empath, 
You may question if you have done something wrong. You may feel bad and try to fix things for the narcissist. You may feel like you deserve to be treated this way. But when you blame yourself for their faults and mistakes, they're not going to feel bad. They're not going to feel like they've done something wrong. Narcissists have no conscience. They do whatever they want. They rationalize everything they do. And as long as they're in the clear, they don't care about how it affects you. Four, your time. As an empath, you need to spend time alone. You need time to think for yourself. But narcissists do not like it when you spend time to yourself. Because they want your time. They want you to be there whenever they need you. They're self-absorbed and they lack empathy. So they do not share your experience. They do not understand that you need time to attend to your own thoughts and feelings. So think very carefully before you decide to book a holiday with a narcissist. Because they will want all of your time and attention. You won't have any time alone. Five, your creativity. As an empath, you have a very good imagination. You have your own original ideas. You think differently to most people. You are an intelligent person, someone that people can depend on as a leader. And this is one of the main reasons why narcissists target you. Because they want to use your uniqueness and creativity for their own selfish needs. Six, you. Narcissists see us as objects. They see us as something that exists to meet their needs. They think that they own us. They see us as their property. As though they own our lives and they can do whatever they want with them. As though we cannot do anything without their consent. As though you have to do whatever they tell you to do. They think that you belong to them. So in their minds, they can do whatever they want with you. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching.narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.